This bill that we're talking about, the one that the Republicans want to appeal, will crack down on fraud in Medicare and Medicaid. It will simplify paperwork for private insurers. It invests in prevention, creates a pathway for generic biologic drugs, and tests new ways to pay health care providers to reward value rather than volume. If the law is repealed, we'll have fewer jobs and higher costs for families and businesses. The number one complaint of Illinois small businesses across our state is the cost of health insurance. If the Republicans have their way today and repeal it, this law that we've passed, the cost of health insurance will grow, the cost to businesses will grow, the number of employees will shrink. A 1% or 1.5% growth in health care costs above the rates under the new law will prevent employers from creating 2.5 million to 4 million jobs over the next 10 years. Talk about a job destroyer. The Republican repeal amendment does just that. Repeal means going back to the same broken system we've had for so long, with insurance companies once again free to overcharge families and businesses to protect their corporate profits and CEO bonuses. The same broken system with workers seeing their paychecks shrink as more and more of their hard-earned wages are deducted to cover skyrocketing premiums. The same broken system with seniors being forced to shoulder the full cost of prescription drugs in the donut hole. And the same broken system with small businesses closing their doors and laying off workers because they can't afford the crushing cost of health insurance. The Republican claim that this health care bill is a job killer is just plain false. The economy has been gaining private sector jobs since President Obama signed the bill a year ago after losing jobs for a long period of time before. Since the President signed the bill, we've created more than 1.1 million private sector jobs, and in contrast, in the 10 years before, we had lost 3.3 million private sector jobs. Average real incomes for Americans are back on the rise after years of being stalled under the old health care system. And just this week, the Commerce Department reported that average real disposable income has risen 1.3 percent over the past year after falling one-tenth of a percent in each of the previous two years. Madam President, I will close by saying this. Our hearing today before the Senate Judiciary Committee on the constitutionality question makes it clear to me that the Court, the Supreme Court, if it follows the clear precedents that have been handed down for decades, if Supreme Court justices who have spoken eloquently and directly on the Commerce Clause will view this Health Care Act in the same context, they will find it constitutional. And then perhaps we can move on. Perhaps at that point the Republicans will stop beating this drum on repealing health care, will join us in making it even a stronger bill, and will focus on creating jobs instead of killing jobs, as this McConnell amendment would do.